What's the name of the game in the first month? It's full feedings and good naps, as we've talked about. Full feedings and good naps, and what do good naps mean? They mean naps of approximately 90 minutes in duration. Uh, motionless, quiet, uh, other than a sound machine perhaps. It doesn't need to be absolutely dead quiet, but you know, conditions for good quality naps of optimal duration, which is in the neighborhood of, of an hour and a half. Now, I've referred to that as a target before, and um, that's fine, but I think it's better described as a preferred floor because you can and should let your newborn nap longer than that. Uh, the only exception I think is, you know, in the first month uh, with newborns and breastfeeding babies in particular, but I would just say probably all babies, um, they need to feed every four hours or less and they should not go more than four hours um, because they need to, to feed that often. Um, and target cycle that we've been talking about throughout the series is two and a half to three hours. Uh, but as I've said before, you know, feel free to let your baby go longer. Don't wake him or her up ever other than if it's approaching or at four hours from the start of the last feed in the last cycle and you're dealing with a newborn in the first month of life, um, you should consider gently nudging him or her awake. Uh, hopefully and perhaps likely they'll be coming out of their sleep anyway um, and you can bring them to the breast and uh, kind of uh, uh, keep that good metabolic uh, cycle going. After the first month of life, I think your doctors and nurses will tell you that a baby can go longer than four hours at that point. And incidentally, that's around the time that uh, their day-night organization begins to fall into place or just does fall into place. It's around the four to six week mark. Um, and that's also uh, in conjunction with that uh, when you'll start to see a lengthening of one of those naps at least, which is the late afternoon, early evening nap or evening nap that takes place uh, roughly f uh, between 6 and 8 p.m. is when it starts. You'll see that nap begin to lengthen um, three hours, uh, three and a half hours, four, four and a half hours. Um, but look, uh, you may get a three hour nap in the first month and that's okay. In fact, let me just give you a bunch of examples from our experience to kind of highlight this point. Um, we got a two hour nap on day five. I know that because we made a record of it. Uh, it was the first day that we were able to begin to keep better records and I think by day six, seven, I mean, we we're keeping pretty decent records. Um, day five was a little spotty, but I noted that it was a two hour nap and there may have been more two hour naps than just the one, but I noted that. And by the way, we measured our naps from the time we put the baby in the bassinet. Um, he may have been asleep while we were changing his diaper, probably was on some occasions. Uh, they're just constantly asleep, passing out, constantly asleep around the clock, but we measured the naps from the time we actually put him down in the bassinet. Um, so that was how we did it. And uh, on day five, we got a two hour nap. On day six, we got a two hour, 40 minute nap. Um, and that was the one that we woke him up just before the four hour mark from the last feeding. It had been, it was like three hours, 58 minutes, you know, uh, and we were waiting and waiting, waiting. Uh, and we just decided to wake him up because it was basically at four hours and we were trying to be, you know, careful and conservative. He was six days old. We brought him to the breast, of, you know, it worked out fine. Um, uh, that nap also was a two hour and 40 minute nap. I looked and the prior cycle, the nap before that was only 45 minutes long. So, you know, only short nap fed in a shorter time frame, maybe closer to the two or two and a half hour mark, you know, from the last feeding. Um, and then that short nap maybe explained the long nap because uh, we fed him and basically put him down immediately or as quickly as we could. 
and he napped two hours and 40 minutes. Um, the next day, day seven, we had a two and a half hour nap. Um, that nap followed a cycle in which there was not much sleep. And I did not note how long or short the sleep was, but I did note that there was not much sleep uh, in the prior cycle. And then he got a two and a half hour nap to make up for it. Um, there was also another cycle that day, uh, incidentally, where we fed after an hour and 53 minutes um, when there was zero sleep. So no sleep that cycle. And I guess we tried, you know, we were doing whatever we were doing. I mean, we were, um, our entire lives were organized around the baby. Um, so it's not like we were, uh, anything else was vying for our attention. But for whatever reason, there was no sleep. So an hour and 53 minutes after we had started the last feeding, we put him to the breast again. So not even two hours. Just goes to show what can happen in the first days or week or two. Um, but then the following cycle, he got a two-hour nap. And I think he got another two-hour nap after that. I mean, it balanced out. At two weeks, he napped three hours in one cycle. It was a 3.8-hour cycle. So what is that? Three hours, 48 minutes from feed to feed, during which he napped for three hours. And that's fine. We didn't wake him up. I think he woke up on his own that time. There was only one time I remember where we woke him up affirmatively. So my point is that we got it all. Um, plenty of naps of all lengths, but they all centered around an hour and a half. And truth be told, you know, God is my witness. I look at these records. Uh, you know, they're not just pulling these figures out of thin air. Uh, you know, the, the, these folks, uh, Dr. Weisbluth, you know, he knows what he's talking about. Um, and that's what you should kind of hope or strive to, you know, um, give your newborn as well as good quality naps of whatever duration, really. I mean, you know, just afford them ample opportunity to sleep and look for naps of about 90 minutes in, in length.